Hello, everybody, and welcome to the world of Studio 4048. Today, we are going to be talking about the brand new leaks coming out of the recent Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness reshoots. It looks like Marvel used the recent reshoots to create a brand new third act to Multiverse of Madness, and now that the reshoots are complete, the new story has been leaked. So it goes without saying that there are possibly massive spoilers beyond this title card, so now is the time to back out if you want to be surprised. According to the leak, the third act begins with Doctor Strange and Clea, the Christine Palmer variant using a powerful spell to contact other magic users around the multiverse. They are trying to build a team to take down Wanda. Doctor Strange and Clea manage to recruit Brother Voodoo, Magic, Sister Grimm, and Quicksilver. They appear through multiversal cracks similar to the ones in Spider-Man No Way Home. The recruits arrive and are clearly distraught from being summoned across the multiverse, as well as the reason for their summoning, which is Wanda. Wanda is leading a demonic army comprised of Dark Dimension demons. A few types of these demons are zombies, reapers, mindless ones, and satanish. During the second half of the battle between Doctor Strange, Clea, their multiversal recruits, and Wanda's demon army, backup arrives for Doctor Strange in the form of more powerful and well-known magic users from the Marvel Universe. Showing up in the second half of the fight, we get Silver Surfer, Ghost Rider, Agamotto, and Polaris, who team up with Doctor Strange, Clea, in the first round of magical recruits. It's reported that we then get a scene similar to the slow-motion circular hero shot in Age of Ultron, but in this case, it is with one heck of a magical lineup. Doctor Strange starts to fight his way toward Wanda, but before he can get to her, he is met by the Ancient One. But it turns out this Ancient One is a distraction from Wanda, a cruel joke using her mind-altering powers. Doctor Strange and Wanda clash in an insane show of magical power. The fight is reported to be similar to the Watcher and Ultron's fight from What If, with Doctor Strange and Wanda blasting each other through different dimensions and universes with insanely powerful spells and magic attacks. The last dimension that they land in though, the one where the final battle takes place, is reported to be the Cancerverse. And if you're familiar with the Cancerverse at all from Marvel Comics, you realize how perfect this location is for the final battle between Doctor Strange and Wanda. The Cancerverse is a unique dimension in the Marvel Multiverse, where life has conquered death, granting immortality to all beings who live in the Cancerverse. Nothing ever dies here, it just becomes corrupted. The dimension is controlled and populated by all sorts of monstrous and demonic beings, with one group of the demons being the many angled ones, which are ancient dark gods from the space between realities, and led by Shuma Gorath, the Lord of Chaos himself and the eldest of the Old Ones. During the final battle, Wanda has a brief moment with her brother Quicksilver and her sister Polaris. After their brief conversation, Wanda realizes she is under the demon's influence and to break free, she knows what she must do. So she sets out to destroy the Darkhold. This is where the leak ends. The report goes on to say that the movie does indeed end on a cliffhanger, which has been reported previously, but that they do not know what the cliffhanger is as there are a couple options that are still being decided upon. Although they do claim that the cliffhanger ending is going to be more focused on villains than the rest of Multiverse of Madness. We interpret this to mean that we can expect some famous villain cameos to appear right at the end of the film and their appearance will be the cliffhanger that Multiverse of Madness ends on. Who these villains are and what their appearance means to the story is not officially known, although one popular theory is that it's going to be Agatha Harkness. It has been reported elsewhere that at the end of Multiverse of Madness, Wanda goes on to seek out Agatha to have her teach her more about her powers in the Darkhold. This will lead directly into House of Harkness on Disney+. Multiverse of Madness was delayed for two months for reshoots to the film, and at the time it was widely reported that Marvel delayed the film because it tested poorly internally and that they wanted to add a lot of cameos that weren't previously possible because of the giant medical issue the planet is dealing with. We now know that the cameos that Marvel added during the reshoots are these magic recruits that Doctor Strange and Clea summoned during the final battle. It is reported that a big part of the reason for the reshoots was to add more Doctor Strange, Wanda, magic type characters and that this is where the recruits come in. The cameos though were only half of the reason for the reshoots. The the other half was to fix Wanda's motivation throughout the film. She went from being self-serving to demonically possessed to try to keep her from being irredeemable. Time will tell if Marvel made the right call with Wanda's motivation. The leak also goes on to debunk popular theories about what the reshoots could have been. There is reportedly not going to be an appearance by Tobey Maguire, Wolverine, any of the 2005 Fantastic Four, Sorry, ladies. or Fox X-Men. The other big old school cameo besides Professor X is going to be Ghost Rider himself, Nicolas Cage. It is rumored that Nicolas Cage shows up at the end of the final battle to save the day. With all of the magical characters that Marvel added during the recent reshoots, it really opens up the MCU to go down so many new directions with these new characters. The potential for future stories is unlimited, and we here at Studio 4048 can't wait to see what Marvel has planned for the future of all these amazing characters from the comics. We really want to know what you all think about the cameos from the recent reshoots. Comment down below and let us know. Are you excited to see these characters, and are these the characters you were hoping to appear in the film? Thank you all for taking the time to watch. If you would like to help us continue to grow, please like and subscribe. This is John, signing off.